Gary, a first proper catch-up about the, the transfer window business uh, so far. Obviously, um, first two through the door were Jack McMillan and Josh McGuinness. So just starting with Jack, someone you obviously knew well and um, someone that you wanted to bring in. Yeah, Jack, someone I, I took on loan uh, many years ago at, at Partick Thistle from Livingston. He was excellent uh, for me in that period and I've, I've kind of kept in touch with his career, kept following him. Uh, I still think he's got massive potential, even though he's kind of mid-twenties now. And I think this opportunity to come down to England and, and really show what he's about uh, will be very good for him. He's been brilliant since he's came in the building. Very fit, high in all the testing, you know, showed his quality in training so far and uh, it'll be a brilliant addition for the team. I think a lot of the fans up in Scotland were sad to see him go as well, if you just read some of the comments when that was announced. I mean, that must be a positive for you, knowing that the, his, uh, his previous club, he was he's really well liked. Yeah, he's a good player uh, and, a, and a good person as well and someone that still thinks he can get better, still wants to get better and, and that is the... You know the type of players we are looking for. You know we want players that are hungry. We want players that are good, obviously, but hungry to improve and get better as well. And he fits right into what we are trying to do. Josh McGuinness, obviously an international striker with Northern Ireland, played for several clubs at this level and the level above as well. A fantastic, fantastic addition to the squad. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, great experience. Uh, you know, having played, I think it's 79 caps, 80 caps. He's got. He's got that challenge and that determination to try and get to 100, which when you speak to him, you know, at 33 years old, he's someone that's still highly motivated to play, highly motivated to be successful, and that's really important. Uh, but he's going to bring a wealthy experience to, you know, the already top strikers that we have, Millie, uh, Sonny, uh, and that's going to be great for them to, to lean on him at times uh, and, and kind of use... Uh, his experience for them to, to develop as well, but uh, massive character, uh, great personality around the, the, the training ground, which we've seen already, he's fitted in very quick, uh, but more importantly, somebody that can score goals, somebody that if we put it in the scoring zone, uh, we know Josh McGuinness will be there, so a uh, great addition to the team. I was going to say, actually, from I think from the day we met him as well to do his media, fantastic character and quite a good sense of humour as well, I sense. Yeah, not great at pouring a can of Guinness, he no. tells me it's obviously no. they don't get cans in Ireland, it's uh, draft over there. Uh, but yeah, like I said, a big personality, and I think that's important as well. The the type of people we bring into the club, people, you know, one who want to be here and, and be successful. And uh, again, even though he's, you know, a little bit older, he definitely fits that profile of, of coming here to, to be successful. And obviously Jay Bird's next one in, uh, another striker who we may well see play alongside Josh. Tell us a little bit about him. Yeah, Jay's someone that Malcolm had, had spotted and, and I know people that I know really well. Uh, the coaches at Arbroath had worked with him and uh, had mentioned to, to him, mentioned him to me uh, before the summer about his quality and, and his potential. Uh, I think he's someone we'll have to be a little bit more patient with. I think he needs time to integrate into the squad, he needs time to, to improve physically and get used to the uh, the different you know loads that we're going to be putting through his body in the next few weeks, but he's, he's someone that we see a massive future for uh, and we're delighted that, that we've got him in, but like I say, the fans probably need to be a little bit more patient with, uh, with Jay and uh, we need to do a lot of work on the, on the training pitch in the gym uh, to get him ready, but we do believe once we get him in that, that state, then uh, hopefully it can be a big addition and, and can score goals as well. I mean, sadly, Arbroath got relegated last season, but he scored nine goals and at such a, his age as well. I think the experience of something like a relegation will probably stand him in good stead going forward. Yeah, and if you've ever been to Arbroath, you need a certain type of character to go and play there. The, the seawater comes onto the pitch, so you know when you meet him and when you speak to him, you, you see that character that he's got. I think, again, he's someone that uh, wants to push on with his career, wants to be successful. He's had, you know, injuries and, and difficulties in his career so far. But I, I think that's something we do really well as a football club. You know, we can, you know, get these players going again. And he has qualities uh, in putting the ball in the net. He has physical attributes that if we get him up to speed, then we believe we've got a really good player. But that, you know, like I said, that will probably take a little bit longer uh, than some of the other players we're bringing in. 
I think since the very end of last season, all we've seen on social media is the fans saying, bring Ryan Woods back, bring Ryan Woods back, bring Ryan Woods back. So you've, uh, you've kept the fans happy in that respect and it's, you know, it's great to have Woodsy back, back with us. Yeah, really happy. I think he was our, our kind of main target of the summer, even though he was obviously our player at the end of the season in terms of a loan capacity. Uh, I remember at Port Vale, you know, the, the, the fans were singing one more year for Sinisalo and uh, I think it was him and Luca grabbed and, you know, one more year for them. But, you know, fortunately we've got Ryan for a little bit longer. We've got him for two more years. So uh, delighted to bring him in, another big character, someone that's played at a higher level, someone that understands what it takes to, to be successful at a higher level. Uh, yeah, and ever since you know, we got him in the team and he started playing, I think you've seen last year the, the change in not only the results, but the way we controlled games and his ability to, to get the team playing, to understand space, to understand when to play fast, when to play slow. He was the real conductor within the team and we're delighted to to bring him back and, and more importantly he's delighted to be here it was never his intention to go anywhere else he wanted to to get everything sorted with Hill and his only option was to come back to Exeter so uh, we're all glad that we've, we've managed to make that happen and to have him on a permanent as well long term planning yeah two years uh, and, and hopefully longer uh, he's like I said he's someone that has played at a higher level knows, knows what it takes so uh, hopefully his experience can rub off on younger players, but more importantly his quality on the pitch and, and the way he he gets the team playing, the way he controls the tempo of games is, is massive for us. Looking forward then to the next, well, both short-term and long-term in the transfer window, what more can you tell us at this stage about targets and, and positions that you're looking to strengthen? Yeah, there's, there's still areas of the park we have to strengthen. We're obviously still looking for a goalie. We feel like we're quite far down the line with that and uh, we're kind of waiting on that to be finalised. Uh, and there's other positions uh, in the team as well where we want to strengthen. So we're, we're still talking to other players, uh, whether that be permanent or loan. Uh, we're still not really kind of got into the loan uh, market just yet, but we will look to try and do that as well. So uh, come the end of the window, you know, I'm really looking forward to see the, the squad we can assemble and, and attack, attack the league this season.